Hi, Dave from eBike Tips here. Now, it's not a bad life, people giving you bikes to try and then you say things about them nicer otherwise and then in a couple of months you have to give them back. You know, that's, that's usually okay. It's usually okay. It's gonna be a bit tough uh, with this one though. This is the Turn GSD and this is without a doubt the most useful bike that I've ever ridden and there's gonna be a hole in my life when I have to give it back. This is a great bike for lots of reasons. Now, there's all sorts of e-bikes out there if you're looking to get one and one of the things people say is, well, you could replace a car and save yourself a bunch of cash and hassle. And you know, that's certainly true because running a small car will cost you a couple of grand in tax and fuel and maintenance and insurance and parking and magic trees and stuff like that every year. So even an expensive bike is going to pay for itself in a couple of years if you can go down from two cars to one or you can go down from one car to none. Well, let's get one thing out of the way at the start. This is an expensive e-bike. The basic build will set you back about four grand and this one we've got has got a couple of extras too. So in terms of replacing a car though, it does a better job than most and it does that without being a massive bulky unit that you need a double garage to store as well. So the GSD isn't any bigger than the standard e-bike and yet you can carry masses of stuff on it and your friends and your family too and you might be wondering how. It's all to do with the size of the wheels and the geometry, basically. So first off, the GSD uses 20 inch wheels. They're a good deal smaller than standard wheels, even with the huge custom Schwalbe Supermoto cross tires that Turn have used here. So if you use the same wheel base as a normal size bike, you end up with a bike that's a fair bit smaller. So what Turn have done is they've lengthened the wheel base of the GSD. So to make it the same length as a normal bike with big wheels, and the extra space is all at the back here, behind the rider in the luggage zones. So what you end up with is a very compact bike, but with a big load capacity, and it is really big. Now I've carried a full video studio set up on the GSD, so that's lights and cameras and stands, the whole lot. And I also had room on the back for Matt, the video guy, riding on this bench seat at the back. And I've taken the kids to school, and I've carried a week's worth of shopping on it easily, and I've carried a bunch of tools for DIY, and I've carried six boxes of cider when I was briefly the local cider delivery boy, and I've even carried another bike with the wheels in one pannier and the frame in another. And that was a bit of a squeeze, but it did work. These panniers that come with the bike are sturdy and they're well designed and they have neat restraining straps inside at the, across the top so they hold the shape when you fill them right up. Um, and they're pretty scuff resistant too, which is good. And that's not the only luggage option. You can get a front rack as we have here. And there's a matching flatbed rack at the back that you can have if you want even more load capacity that works with the panniers. Or you can stay with the bench seat or you can have a double bench seat with full length foot rests along the bottom. Or you can have two child seats. The bottom line is it's really versatile and you'll be able to spec it for your daily life. Now you're probably getting the picture. You can shift a lot of different stuff and it's hilly where I live in Bath, but the Bosch Performance Line motor has never struggled to get me where I want to go. So these 20 inch wheels mean that the standard gearing that Turn use, it ends up being quite low, which is perfect. So you'll spin out if, if you're going downhill, but I'll always trade that for having enough gears to get back up the other side. And it, it's not a bike that's designed for going fast anyway. So another thing is that the GSD is designed with Bosch's dual battery system. It comes with one 400 watt hour battery as standard, but you can add another next to it, and ours has two. So that 800 watt hour capacity means that range is never really something you think about, to be honest. This isn't a bike you'll be doing much long distance cycling on. It's a city workhorse, and two batteries means a week of knocking about in town with no worries about charging. And when the time does come to charge, it's an overnight job, really. It takes a little while. Now, I said earlier that the GSD isn't any bigger than a normal bike which is amazing considering the amount of gear you can lug about. Now, that is one issue if you go to a Long John style bike with a bucket at the front, so you're not gonna easily get that in your shed or your hallway. But the GSD goes even further than that. You can fold the bars down and you can drop the seat post and you can stand it on its end because the big rear rack here has four feet built in. Look, like this. So that means that even if space is really limited, you should be able to find some sort of nook or cranny you can shove the GSD in. Now this is a 30 kilo bike, so you're not gonna to want to lug it up three flights of stairs to a top floor flat, 
in fact any kind of steps or stairs are, are a bit of a struggle even for a big lad like me. Ideally you want level access wherever you're going to store it or a few steps at most. But that weight sort of works to your advantage in other ways. So it means it's probably not going to get lifted from outside Sainsbury's if you leave it locked with the nurse's lock through the front wheel that it comes, comes with as standard. So it's really handy for popping into the shops or for errands in town. I don't have many bad things to say about this bike. I mean, I don't have any really. Okay, it's expensive, but it's so enormously useful that you couldn't really say it was poor value. And like I said at the start, if you can knock out all the costs that go with the second car, in a couple of years, you're up on the deal. Think of it as an investment, basically. But you know the best thing about this bike, it's, it's just fun, it's, it's a laugh to ride, and everyone who rides it thinks it's great, and everyone who sees it thinks it's great too. Especially if you've got a mate on the back. I've, I've never seen so many smiling drivers. You can see them thinking, you know, I could get on board with that. So the GSD is fun, it's practical, it's built to last, it's an e-bike, for the long term, for moving your life over to getting about by bike. You should try one, I really can't recommend it highly enough. So, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about this bike, then ask them below and we'll do our best to answer them. And subscribe to this channel for more videos like this from eBike Tips. Cheers.